In this video, you and I will be breaking down another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If we have not met yet, my name is Troy. I'm an author, coach, and a speaker. And most importantly, I want to help you find that meaningful relationship or get the girl back or the guy back, whatever that might be. In this video, I'm going to break down some attraction secrets to help you do just that. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Channel. It's your host Arlette, and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we have some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies! <laughs> All right, so we're going to be bringing out some single men one by one. When they come on out around this corner, if he's your type, you like what you're seeing, you know, everything is just on point. Do not pop your balloon. But, you know, if there's anything like he said or, you know, whatever it is, if he's just not your type, you can't see yourself going out with this guy, go ahead and pop your balloon. And then I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. Y'all ready to get started? Yeah. Ah, all right. So let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Ryan. Ryan? Yes, that's okay. it. Okay. And Ryan, how old are you? I'm 26. 26. And what do you do? And I, I do a few things. I own two media companies. I run a clothing brand and I also make music on the side. Okay, very cool. And now what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I love thrifting. Oh. I love, um, yeah, thrifting, shopping, coffee shops. I'm like a museum goer. I'm not much mm. of a clubber. Okay. So. I'm not like a nightlife person, I'm more like a morning type of guy. Got it. Okay. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? I look for someone who's going to be able to be supportive of me and like help me with my with my business and my mm -hmm. goals and dreams and whatnot. Okay. Um, and someone that I can just I guess laugh with and not be too serious about mm -hmm. everything. Okay. I think that's what I'm looking for. Got it. And now mm -hmm. what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, there's a few. Um having kids is one okay. um and maybe if they're older than me okay might be one i'm 26 so You're 26 okay yeah. got it mm -hmm. okay cool so we did get uh two pop balloons let's okay. go on over there see what's going on notice the tonality in his voice there's bass to it remember anytime you have an uptick in your voice it's usually because your rapport is sinking seeking now one thing i do notice with this guy i'd like him to do a little bit different is be comfortable taking up more space Oftentimes, like your brain is designed for survival, not success. And so we enter a room, especially with beautiful women, it wants to survive. So it wants to shrink into the environment. Not that he's necessarily doing that. He seems fine. He seems relaxed, but he could own the space a little bit more. Like maybe even walk in there and say something to the ladies right away. Like, hey, ladies, how are you? Acknowledge them. But he's doing a really good job. Fantastic so far. I dig his vibe. So just notice his relaxed vibe and his tone. The vibe is so much more important than what you do for work, what you do for a living. Notice how that's almost secondary. Like that's just part of what he's saying. But again, it comes down to the sub communication, the energy that you display. Do you believe in you is what the woman is looking for. Quite a few girls mm -hmm. without their balloon and popped. So I'm going to have you pop three. Let me see how I want to. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, what am I looking at? Mm, and let's go. To okay, since we're here, we'll start with her. Okay. So, why did you end up popping? Something that you can take away from this most men come from a scarce frame and a needy frame. What that kind of looks like is you don't have enough going on in your life, your life isn't that exciting, and you're needing someone or something to fulfill like a void. Rather, as a man, one of the most valuable things you can do is just build a positive life. Like have a lot of dope shit going on. Cool hobbies, cool people you hang out with, projects you're working on. I sense that from this guy, that he's got a lot going on and therefore he's not that available. And women can sense that and that's attractive to them. They want to be part of your journey, but if you don't have a journey going on, they can sense it and they're like, dude, I don't want to be the thing that's just going to come fill in the void. 
because then they feel like they're your mom. You already got a mom. You had one of those. She ain't trying to be that. She's trying to be your girl, your lady, your partner. Did you have any questions you wanted to ask him? What do your daily habits look like? My daily habits? Um, I wake, let's see, I start with waking up. Okay. And I work Monday through Friday. Okay. Um, the weekends is where I take my time to relax. But I wake up, I like to go to the gym three times a week. Mm -hmm. And then I'm always working. My day looks different usually every single day. So I don't have a ice plunge and then two two hours of meditation and then this oh, it's like i drove to arizona today like i i keep it very random so i can't say i have a daily regimen that okay. i follow okay. um but i guess in terms of just habits i don't know i just like to get my work done before 6 p.m so how do you find time to care about yourself like what do you do to <clears throat> cater good. to yourself that's a good question i think i have difficulty with that um it's hard to find a balance between being relaxed, comfortable, and like self-care, quote unquote, okay. and working and grinding and like, so I don't think I have an answer to that. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I have difficulty with that. Sure. Okay, do you see how her questions almost force a man into their logical brain? Less logic, more emotion, and only emotion. That's what she wants to feel from you. Again, it's more of a feeling and less about your logical answers. Like, what was going to actually happen in that moment? Like, he has the perfect logical response. Like, oh, I get up and I exercise for 30 minutes. I do fucking yoga for 25 minutes. I eat peeled oranges and banana, whatever the fuck, right? Like, that's not going to do it. It's not logical. What she's doing is testing you. She's seeing how you respond in the moment. He stayed relaxed enough for her to kind of like make that connection. And also, not that he even needs the connection. And that's the energy you should bring. Like, I don't even know if she's for me. What do you what do you look for in a relationship? Um, kind of like what I mentioned earlier, which was just someone who's supportive and willing to, I think, allow me to lead as well. Mm -hmm. uh, lead how? Lead in basically every way. Um, what, what is every way? Can you be more specific? Probably like when it comes to decision making, let's say we're traveling, we're going on a trip. Okay. I'll book the trip. Um, I'll be in charge of like the itinerary and I can ask you, hey, what do you, do you like this? Do you like this? Cool. We'll set this up. We'll have this, mm -hmm. the Uber, I have it booked and we'll pick us up at 6 p.m. Like I like doing stuff like that because I don't know. I just like having my, I guess my way. Okay. So if, if I had to put it like that. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, do you smoke or drink or take any? Okay. Nah, I stopped drinking when I turned 21. Um, it's just something that, I don't know, doesn't agree with my system. Sure. So I don't okay. smoke or nothing. Yeah, sure. Go oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Let me bring y'all all up here. Okay. Let's come up. Let's come up. <laughs> All right. So do we have any final questions before we determine if y'all are, you know, filling each other? I don't have any other questions. Um, you don't have any children? Uh, no. Nope. Uh, I'm just going to pop because I'm sorry. Um, I just, um, I don't feel like good energy. I'm Notice the part we talked about leading in the relationship because that gives the woman security to express it and really move into her feminine energy. If you don't lead in the relationship, then she'll be forced to use her masculine energy and she will resent you because of that later on. So what she's looking for is can you be the masculine frame, the oak tree in the relationship that allows me to express my feminine energy. He understands the importance of leading the relationship. I thought he did a phenomenal job. Even though he didn't get a match, all good, whatever. He had a lot of attraction Action. I think the dude in reality has a lot of options and they can sense that. Let's keep it rolling. Hello, welcome in. I have to take this mic. What's your name? Antoine. Antoine, how old are you? I'm 27. 27, okay. And what do you do? I work at a plant, but I also personal train. Okay, very cool. And uh, now what are some things you like to do for fun? Really work out. Just self-love, focus on self-love. Okay. That's me. So you're all about the gym. Yeah. All right. Yeah, help as well. Help as well. <laughs> okay. And now, uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Really, uh, make sure she love herself first, and then just she gotta understand that a happy man is God's plan. Mm. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Here's a really good example of attraction. Okay, strong, like masculine man. He has that alpha look. Loves to work out. But notice how like half the balloons already popped. Now notice the size of this man, a very strong frame, but listen to his voice. It's like stuck inside. Oh, this, I'm gonna end this. So again, your voice has so much to say about you. It's your form of expression. 
So the reality is they can read so much about this man just based on his voice and his tonality. We really need to get this guy to open up and express himself. He's in a box, very strong masculine box, but it's all bottled up right now. So let's continue to watch, see how he does. Be a gym girl, be a gym girl. As a gym well. girl, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Oh, yeah. Let's go on over to these girls and see what's going on. We'll start right over here. We can have your name and age. My name is Jacqueline, I'm 25. Okay, and Jacqueline, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm initially not really attracted, but also you said you want a gym girly, so I'm not that either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, and now she's, I know you said you're all about the gym girly. She says she's not, so is she someone that's your type? Oh, no, she's good, she's good. Oh, thank you, she see, good. he said, even if you're not gym girl, you, he's still you. <laughs> no response. <laughs> okay. And then we did get a couple down here as well. Okay. And Lex, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because he's not my type. Like, just physically, he's not my type. Mm, okay. So physically, what is your usual type? Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting it. Um, more, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I can't even tell you. Okay. Just like the energy possibly mm. or whatever you said physically though yeah like physically your energy is not it's matching not but i do like that you go to the gym i like that though so again it's not about the money it's not about your car your big house you don't have to have those things to create attraction it's more about you and your belief in yourself the vibe you create the energy that you can create in a moment so is she someone that you would approach if you saw her out somebody i approach i would say no just because i'm more of a petite guy mm. i'm more of a petite guy Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's go back <laughs> over here. I'm Esther. I'm 23. Okay. And Esther, why did you end up popping your balloon? Just physical attraction. I'm not as Am I ugly? Him. You're not ugly. No. I got you. It's not that. It's just not. It ain't given. No, it's given. You look good. I like your outfit. I got you. Okay. Again, this guy embodies the tall, handsome, strong guy. But they're not connecting to his energy because Lotus, his energy is in a box. He's not expressive. He's not loose. He doesn't embody playfulness. And again, that's what a woman's looking for. Can you play along your journey in life? What they sense is probably that he takes his workouts way too serious. Like the gym is going to be more important than they are. They want to find a man that understands what it means to play, to stay loose, to connect with them. They can probably tell he doesn't fully understand how to enjoy life yet. So men, make sure you learn how to enjoy, how to play, how to express yourself and still have that serious side to you, but also that playful energy as well. Do you have any questions for him? Um, what is your daily habits? Daily habits? Sure. Gym. Gym. I work and go to the gym. Anything else? That's me. I, I read and ground. What, what's interesting about you? What would you say is an interesting aspect of you? Inter interesting? Mm -hmm. um, like, what are your hobbies? What do you like to get into besides the gym? I, I'm Right now, I'm sure. focused on really self-love and work and gym okay. and active. I'm being well, active. What does that look like to you, self-love? Being healthy, just caring about my body first. Okay. What does that look like? Like, what, eat, how's eat, your lifestyle? Eat, eat, eating right, eating right. And like I told you, I read and ground. Okay. Just getting my body right and that everything else gonna fall in line. What That's books what I are you currently in. reading? You said what? What books are you currently reading or what genre do you read? Just self love, any self love book. How to be a superior man. Sorry? How to be a superior man. How to? How to be a superior man. Oh, superior man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the book I'm reading right now. Sure. Okay, what did I say? They can sense that he probably loves the gym more than he would love them. That's what we're kind of getting from this guy. Do you notice how the woman in her feminine energy is kind of testing to see if like, this is a playground. Can I play with this person in life? Can I enjoy life with this individual? He seems to be stuck in the concept, right? This is like a paradigm and I want you to see things in this way. He's stuck in the paradigm of looks, money, and body. So what did he say? Like my focus is my work, my focus is on my body and learning how to be a superior man. So he's stuck in the paradigm. I have to make more money and I have to be better looking. Then I'll get the girl. So I want you to understand that it's not about that. You're looking at it in real time. The dude is like focused just on that and it's not working. So get out of that. Realize it's about your vibe, about the energy that you're, you have an ability to understand what it means to live life. And can they join you on your journey? Work on those things, but you already got it right now. You're already living life right now. You're enjoying the moment as it is. That's what they're looking for. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. Can we have your name? I'm Michael. And uh, Michael, how old are you? I'm 25. 25, okay, what do you do? Uh, I'm an electrician. You're an electrician? Yeah. Okay, and now um, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, Just really support. And uh, a few more 
from I grew up in the South, so got to have morals. Okay. All right. And now, um, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, Just roofiness, being disrespectful, mm. especially depending on certain situations and stuff. But really, that's the main thing. Okay. All right. And then for the ladies to kind of get, your, get to know you a little bit, what do you like to do for fun? Um, I play basketball. Uh, I play paintball as well. Also, I'm getting into riding motorcycles. So you say you're riding motorcycles? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, Get oh. back into that. All right. <laughs> okay. What's the vibe that you're catching right here? Do you think he has the type of life that they'd be excited to come and join? Maybe he seems like a really nice, genuine dude. Very cool. He's got that realness down. But I sense, do you notice how when he said, I'm looking for support, a couple balloons popped? Because I don't think it was the right kind of support. Like it is valuable. You want a woman, yes, to support your journey. That's like absolutely valuable. But there's an other side of support that looks like, again, them being your mother, taking care of you, picking up after you. No woman wants to do that. They don't want to be your mom. You already got one of those. She ain't it. So you have to make sure that your energy shows that when you say support, like I'm looking for someone to support my journey that we can create together we can build a beautiful life together you notice again his voice he's kind of got this like docile like quiet kind of energy it's not expressive you have to work on expressing your energy on opening up on using your voice so women can feel who you are you can be expressive because as you express yourself you're expressing yourself into life as well um i just didn't like your question um was what are you looking for and the first thing that you said was like support and i feel like if a woman says that then we're like gold diggers and we are looking for help mm -hmm. and i feel like when you're looking or trying to be with someone you're supposed to be looking for love so that was just my thing okay did you want to elaborate on what you meant by support? Um, so let me ask you this. Would you take care of a man that doesn't need to be taken care of? I'm not. No, I wouldn't. I mean, if we're together and we have communication and he's down and I'm able to pick up where he's lacking. Yeah. But take care of a man. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> See, and that's huge right here. Look, we just were talking about it. So she sensed that. Like, I'm not trying to take care of a man. Do you see her energy? Men oftentimes struggle to be vulnerable. Like, we struggle to say, hey, I'm, I'm going through a tough time right now. So work on that as a man. Get comfortable sharing your vulnerabilities. But you have to match it with action. This is the key. When you say, hey, I'm struggling or I lost my job. I'm going through a hard time. My business is suffering. But here's my plan. Here, here's what I intend to do. We'll be okay no matter what. Even if we lose it all, I'm still going to walk through those fucking flames. Like That's the energy they want to feel from you. That is strength. Now, what a lot of men do is when they show vulnerability, they say, I'm vulnerable. I'm going through a hard time. This sucks. I lost my job. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to go be in the back and I'm going to play some video games. There's inactivity. And when you have inactivity with vulnerability, to them that shows weakness. And so as a man, you always got to move. You have to have action. Whether that's right, wrong, or indifferent, the reality is we have to put forth and develop strength and cultivate that energy so that they can feel that in relationship. And I think what she senses is like, yo, I'm not trying to take care of a dude. She probably already did in a previous relationship, and she never wants to do it again because they will resent you for doing that because it pushes them into the masculine frame, and they have to use that masculine energy. And the reality is they don't really want to. They want to be able to fall and relax into the feminine energy, and that creates polarity. Two opposite charges create polarity and energy, synergy in the relationship, a charge in the relationship, sex in the relationship. Everything will be much better if you can stay in those energetic frames. Single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you take that. What's your name? My name is Chandler. Chandler? Yes. Okay, and Chandler, how old are you? 28. 28, and what do you do? I'm a um, fraud analyst. So I just look at customers' accounts, make sure that their um, fraudulent use of uh, their account number, just pay them back if it's a, a fraud case. If not, I just deny the claim off the evidence I found. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah. And now what are some things you look for in a woman? Yeah. Um, just Here's another good example of being in the logical mindset or the emotional mindset. Which one is he in? He's going through logically. She says, what do you do for work? And he's just going through what he does at work. And there's just balloons popping in the background. Like, man, fuck, that sounds boring. That's what's taking place. So my dude, when you get asked what you do for work, again, it's not important. Like, you can explain that shit later on. Just briefly mention it. I do this. And then move on. You know, the thing I enjoy about it is X, Y, and Z. I do this, but I'm really focused on my hobbies. I love doing these types of things. Remember, when you talk about things that are interesting to you, you naturally sound interesting. I don't think he's probably that interested in what he does for work. Like, who would be? And so, therefore, he sounds not interesting. By my side, definitely uh, 
loves me for just me, you know? Okay, that's nice. (laughs) Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, Definitely, like, kids with multiple men. Mm. Um, And just uh, close-mindedness, you know, not willing to just try new things and, Mm. you know, just be spontaneous. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we did get a couple. Here's something important to remember as we're going through this, right? Like, I'm sure these guys, for the most part, are dope dudes. You and I would have fun with them. It's learning to bring that energy forward in initial attraction. Here's a great example of him just allowing himself to be who he is. And that actually created attraction. So as soon as he allowed himself to kind of nerd out and talk about the things he enjoys, the anime he liked, what type of date he would take her on, she actually became more attracted. Attraction is not about trying to fit into everybody's box so everyone likes you. It's about making initial connection and seeing if you guys are a good fit for each other. And you can only do that when you're congruent and honest and authentic in who you are. And she handed her balloon to him, was like, yo, let's get this going. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Chad. Chad? Yes. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 29. 29, all right. And what do you do? Um, I'm a restaurant manager, model, rapper, actor. No. And now what do you look for in a woman? Um, Peace, um, integrity. Respect, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like a hustle. No, like I'm not gonna provide, but I wanna be able to know you can provide for yourself type thing. Okay. You know and now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, not too many, honestly. I mean, uh, I'll say one of my deal breakers is like somebody being close minded, just not um, open to the possibilities of their mindset being not the end all be all. Mm. You know Okay. All right. Well, we did get a couple of pop balloons. Pretty good initial attraction here. They seem to kind of feel him so far. He's put a lot of focus on his look. That can help with the initial attraction. But again, I like to see you cultivate your vibe more. So notice the nuance, right? The look versus how you present yourself versus the vibe is the energy. Our last guy was a good example when he stayed too logical. And then when he allowed himself to finally just play and kind of let go, that's what created the attraction, the connection. So same thing here. Good look, right? But that's not the main thing. And you can see there's already been balloons pop. Rather, focusing on creating the vibe and the energy, letting that shine through, I think will go a lot further. Let's see if you can bring that out as he talks to these next few girls. Go on over to these ladies, see why they ended up popping. Yeah. Start right over here. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I ended up popping because you said you want like a hustler for a woman. And yeah, I'm not into that. Are, are you not a hustler like do you not make your own money you i make money but i'm not like a hustler i feel like hustlers like i do this i do that i do this i do that and like all over the place mm. and i'm kind of like i have a straight path to my career um i don't necessarily think of a hustler as like all over the place like you said i think of a hustler as like just having um some type of straight path or or goal that they're going to and you know being relentless at it you know and um just being able to make their own money not depend on anybody no? okay. independence awesome but thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. For sure. All right. And now she's yeah. someone that is your type? Um, yeah, she's gorgeous. Um, thank you. you know, I like your dress. You know thank what I'm you. saying? Like, you know, definitely, you know, popping your big one for sure, for sure. You know <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Let's sure. go over to our next lady. All right, if we could have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm Lex and I'm 23, and I have a couple different things. Okay. First of all, um, you have your glasses on and it's, this That's is cool. supposed to be a dating show yeah. and I feel like out of respect for us women you should right. have your glasses off. I respect that. Um second thing uh you said something about a uh, woman in peace like your woman being your peace. Mm-hmm. You should be able to find your own peace and mm-hmm. the woman should be able to add to it not yeah. her actually being your peace. I didn't necessarily say like the woman was my peace. I'm saying I I look for peace in a woman. Okay. So so a, a, when I'm looking at you I don't want conflict. I don't want problems. Okay, um, cool. I, I want like something that somebody that's um, looking to provide a solution. You know what I'm saying? To whatever problem we have. Okay, so whether cool. it's whatever. And then as far as my glasses, they like sentimental. Um, I don't mind taking them off. Like, them you know, off. yeah, you know. Let's, let's if, see if your if face. You, see? If you, if you just want to ask. Like, you know, <laughs> but they sentimental. Um, my dad got a piece of metal stuck in his eye. He always wore sunglasses and everything. So okay, I just cool. always wanted to be like my dad. So all just right, came cool. as myself. That's all. Here's a good example of not being reactive in communication. So she's kind of throwing some heat at him, right? Some fastballs. And it'd be really easy to get defensive by staying relaxed and non-reactive. You show that you're secure in who you are. Like even with the glasses thing, like he didn't just say, oh, yeah, let me take them off right away for you. 
he actually had a really cool story about them and then still was like sure i can pick them off it's no big deal but here's why and that actually created like some heartfelt connection like i felt for the guy like damn all right dope but if he was just reactive as soon as she said something then that shows an insecurity he's not strong in who he is and in his frame i think he's doing a really good job he's relaxing more into it and my guess is gonna make some connections. Let's see. All right, so we do still have three ladies left. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question to kind of help you narrow it down. So great, it's great, more great. your match. Okay. Um, so it's a two-part question. Um, do you guys have kids? And how do you feel about male with kids? Okay, let's start here with your name and age and then the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 23. Nice to meet you. I have no kids. No kids. What do okay. I feel about a man with kids? How many do you have? Uh two. Same woman? Yes, ma'am. How old are they? Uh, my son is nine, and my daughter would be six on the ninth. Okay. So, how how you feel about me and with kids? It's just I have entertained a guy with two kids. Okay. I have. So that's like your limit. Can I ask him a question? Go ahead. Do you <laughs> smoke? Do I smoke? Yeah. Yeah, I smoke. Yeah, that's cool. I'm sorry. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Let's go to our two sure. ladies here. All right, your name and age, and do you have kids, and how do you feel about men with kids? I'm Kayla. I'm 23. Um, I don't have kids. And a man with kids, I mean, I'm trying to be more open about it because there's no more single men out here without kids no more. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm just Respect. giving up at this point. Respect. And But um, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do in your free time? Um, honestly, um, I just like to work on how to better myself as a man. And so how do you like, better yourself as a man? Um, just working on like my craft, so not working for anybody. Um, making sure I have some type of way to provide for my family. Uh, working on my mental, uh, making sure like I'm sound, I'm poised. How um, do you work on your mental? Um, just talking to people, um, meditating. Um, no, t it, I mean it, it sounds crazy, but talking to myself. If you um, can't just talk self to yourself, self you evaluation. Can't talk to else, yeah, so. self evaluation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like <laughs> I, I, I look in the mirror and be like, hey, like. So you're no. honest with yourself exactly. before you could talk to anybody else. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. You know, that's how I feel. Um, no, I don't have no question. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. Let me bring her on up here. I'm come on up. Yeah. Come on up. <laughs> All right. I know you said you have no more questions. Any final questions from you? Um, no, I ain't got no more questions. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, then, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yeah. Okay. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes. We got a match. He got a match. And you notice when she was throwing those questions at him, hit him with some fastballs. Again, he was non-reactive. He was answering them and just kind of playing. He was loose. He wasn't taking it too serious. He even was able to laugh at himself. Like, I meditate. I look in the mirror. And I'm just kind of like, I got to self-evaluate. Awesome. Perfect. Keep it loose. Nothing is ever that serious in life. And a woman is here to remind you of that. It's one of the beautiful things about a relationship is a woman reminds you to play, to dance, to express. And so if you can show them that you're capable of doing that, you have a much better chance of making attraction, making a connection. Boom. We move it. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I'll have you hold this. All right, if we can have your name. Uh, my name is Aaron. Aaron, how old yes, are you? Yeah, I'm 29. 29, okay, yes. and what do you do? Uh, I'm a licensed plumber. Oh, okay. very cool. Yeah. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I look like I look for a woman that's not promiscuous and um, has a career going for herself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker being promiscuous. <laughs> Not cleanly, um, don't have a career, nothing really going for yourself. Okay. All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go ahead and go on over there, see what's going on. Yes. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. I'm 24. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to say the pop in the balloon property. <laughs> Got you. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes. The feeling is definitely mutual. So uh, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. You did me a favor. You know, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you have a great Thank day. Thank you, Queen. You too. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. And... All right. We got to pop over here. Okay. We just talked about being reactive or non-reactive. Was he reactive or non-reactive to her popping a balloon? Very reactive. And you see how initially the girl next to him was like, her face kind of shut, drops like, whoa, what? Did he just say that? And she popped her balloon. My guess is these balloons are gonna start popping fast. I have not watched it, but my guess is by him being that reactive, you never know what someone's coming from, like the wounds they carry, right? And so one of the things that he talked about was 
He's looking for a girl that's not promiscuous. And so my guess is he's probably been cheated on. Maybe I don't know the guy, but if he's carrying that wound around, there might be some insecurities around that. And so when she says anything about, you know, I just wasn't feeling your vibe, he initially is re overreacting in that moment. That's why doing inner work is really important, right? Doing that deep, like trauma work stuff. I got videos on that stuff too, so check that out. That's part of the inner game that needs to get flushed out so you'd be more successful with the outer game, the stuff right here. I'm Sierra, I'm 22. Okay, and why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made, um, didn't really, I like a more humble person. That's the one that responds so defensive-ish. Yeah, that's really it. Hey, uh, I, I didn't really necessarily like that's how you fine. Responded. Hey, I could just, yeah. all I can do is be honest, I you mean, know? Yeah, be honest, I be your authentic self, to, that's okay. To, to, to find a match. Sure. That one mansion. Sure. That's I all, mean, Queen. I 100% understand. Yes, yeah. yeah. Sure. And I was, um, she someone that's your type? Um, she all right. You know, mm -hmm. you're not really my type. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, disrespectful. You know, but if I see you in public, I wouldn't reach out totally to Totally fine. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. And we did get a pop balloon over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Lex and I'm 23 and I pop my balloon because I feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful like how you like I don't know arrogant a little bit yes yeah just that well voice in my opinion is not arrogant you know she asked me if she would be a good fit for me if I like what I see you know uh it's contrary to the truth so of course. that's all I can do is just state what I see I don't that's not a good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. You did me a favor as well. Yeah. Also, um, what happened? Okay. Loving it. Yes. Being real is very important. I We totally get that, right? Like you want to be authentic, want to be congruent. If you're not feeling attraction, not feeling attraction. But can you start to see that that probably ain't actually the case? Now he's just taking shots at all these girls. He's like, well, you did me a favor and you did me a favor. I mean, fair enough, but. That to me is coming across as more insecure than it actually is his actual taste or preference. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see how this one ends. Let's keep it rolling. What you say, this is what I mean by what I said. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yes. You could have rephrased a lot of the things that you have been saying to me as well as the other girls differently. But that's all I have to say. But one thing about me is I'm not going to change who I am of course. to fit somebody else's liking. You know, I'm just going to tell it how it is. If you're not it, that's not it. You know, cool. the one that is it, I'm going to let it be known. Okay. You know, for surely, yes. Respectful. Balloon. Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their don't arms. Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't queen. do too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body you just wasn't looking at my eyes what it is. No, I, was I was looking at the hair on your arms anyways arm, she asked me the question yes um yeah I'm in heels and you ain't tall enough okay don't do too much well though. you're not qualified baby all right, that's so that's good. all good let's move on let's move on okay so <laughs> we do still have three and pop but she looking like you gonna pop okay okay all right if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping my name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I popped because I have hair on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just because you got hair on your arms, that's okay, though, Queen. You look phenomenal, though. Thank you. You know, she ain't Don't fit to my way. liking. She ain't even fit to my... Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm, I'm talking to this woman right here. Oh, well, I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I could look any way I want to. You know? But, yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back, though? She don't want it. Yeah. Do you want your balloon back, Queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. You, you already been. I already let you know. I'm not interested right, in. You got more hair on your arms than me, baby. But uh, anyway. Okay. So he's saying get your balloon back, but how you feeling, honey? Um, I'm not gonna get my balloon back. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. No problem. So we do still have uh two balloons. Yes. Do we still have two balloons? No. <laughs> Let's go over here. I saw you hesitate. That's why I had to ask. So if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, Originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being, I guess, arrogant. Mm -hmm. But to me, I like my man that's not going to sit in every girl's face and, you know, complimenting them, you know. Mm -hmm. So I didn't find that offensive to me. But 
when they start that what was going on, I'm very like I'm, I don't want to say I'm argumentative, but I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I feel like it's gonna always be a problem. That was the only reason why I popped my balloon. So actually, a good point, right? She's showing the value of having a masculine frame, like believing in who you are. There's a certainty to that. So this guy obviously resembles a lot of that, but where I think he's going wrong and too far again is being too reactive to them in their situation it's one thing to say like yo if i'm into it i into it beautiful powerful yes have that have that strong no because remember your yes means shit until you have a strong no so you have to be certain who you are and what you want but what i sense is being way too reactive in this moment and that's what's actually causing the girls now to start to push away so he's got one balloon left let's see how it works out Caddy with me, you a little sassy just a little bit and since you want to come at everybody over here i'm gonna get at you too you kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not that cute. You you need to relax. Uh, you stocky as hell. And I was trying to be respectful, okay, but yeah. like you was you was really coming up. Like I didn't I didn't like it. I'm from the south, and I can okay. handle like a lot of criticism and stuff like yeah. that. But the way you was coming, you just ain't like you got it all like that. And I guarantee you probably got a roommate at home, and it's just not giving anymore. Yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real estate. I live and property management. I live downtown. So what you I live downtown. I stay by myself, Queen. You know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing say with me. You're not qualified. To, you definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one my that type. you wanted, Pop I seen, I, That's fine. So that, what? That is it's totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull a hundred thousand on the bank. Can you do the same? Get this yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that, though, baby. Yeah, in let's a real move way. On. You can't do that, though, Queen. All right. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 23. Okay. And Esther, uh, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Are you done? Oh, yeah. I'm done with the rest of that. Okay. You know. Okay. Now we can talk, right? In a real way. Okay. What do you look for? I look. What for are you looking for? A, a woman, like I said, that's not going to be promiscuous. A woman that's going to be consistent. A woman that has a career and things going for herself, because I had the same thing going for myself, okay. you know, as well. I don't need a woman to uh, give me her money um, or anything. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty. That's all. And some honesty. You believe in God? Oh, certainly. Yes, ma'am. I'm a God fearing man. I practice monotheism. You know, I won't tell you what I identify is religion wise, but we can get to that at a later date and time. You know, okay. if you choose to. uh leave here with me okay do you know the bible says that love is kind yes certainly are you here for love or are you here to just insult i'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a family you know okay. that's what i aspire to do okay yes ma'am all right you're good sure we're good oh okay all right any questions for her no not at all oh do you have any kids no i don't do you want kids i do you how gonna give you me again? a son huh how old are you i'm 29 how old are you 23 okay is that okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. You know, okay. we might as well get up out of here right now. All right. Well, let me let, let's yeah. step on over here. Let's step on. Step that way real quick for me. Step that okay. way. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it seems like there's a little vibe here. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? God says save souls. So, yeah. Oh, and is it a yes for you it's for her? It's going to be a hell yes for okay, me. Okay, we yeah, got a match. Right. <laughs> All right, let me take this mic and y'all can go on up. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in on this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Love can be very mysterious. I hope you found this episode interesting in the comment section. Drop a note on what you found valuable or what maybe you're working on yourself. There's always a step point that you can work through to get to the other side and have more social connection and success. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, peace.